हेलो दिस इज मिस्टर कल्पेश अनिल ईसाई असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आरसी पटेल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शिरपुर हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सब्जेक्ट स्पेसिफिक एनवायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस वीडियो फॉर इंटरनेशनल एफडीपी ऑन एनवायरमेंट एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय डी वाई पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आकुर्डी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम going to present green chemistry as a sustainable chemistry this is a summative video for this fdp in previous weeks i have prepared two videos the details is, uh, of these videos is given in this slide such as in week 1 i have prepared a video on green chemistry its a definition its a importance etc etc it has number of views 35 and number of like 6 in uh, week 2 i have prepared a video on environmental standard its a number of likes are 4 and number of views are 16 uh, in this video i present uh, various environmental standards particularly related with green chemistry uh, and iso 14001 uh, now uh, the outcome of this video is that the outcome of the present video uh, is that uh, what is green chemistry and what are the Uh, sustainable uh, chemistry education in the form of green chemistry uh, that uh, that is nothing but the outcome of this uh, video in the present video i have uh, particularly discuss with uh, green chemistry uh, then uh, carbon footprint and uh, the uh, calculation of carbon footprint uh, also i have discuss uh, about the standards Uh, ISO standards. Uh, so let us discuss about ISO standard. ISO fourteen thousand family is a series of guidance document and standards to help uh, organizations address environmental issues. Particularly, ISO standards are fourteen thousand one for environmental management system. Fourteen thousand four is a general uh, guidelines for EMS. Fourteen thousand ten guidelines for environmental auditing. Fourteen thousand eleven guidelines for auditing of an EMS. Fourteen thousand twelve auditing qualification criteria and uh, few other ISO standards that are given in this slide. Particularly, uh, these standards are for environmental sustainability. Sustainability. Now we will discuss about carbon footprint. Carbon footprint is a measure of the impact of a person's activities on the environment. in terms of how much carbon dioxide produced by each activity uh, one chart is given here uh, it indicate that the average carbon footprint particularly in india it is 1 ton of carbon dioxide per person per year as compared to usa it is 20 in case of usa it is 20 tons of carbon dioxide per uh, per person per year for your uh, better understanding one youtube video link is given here uh, to understand the carbon footprint now what are the sources of emission particularly in case of carbon footprint how the carbon footprint is increases one case study is given in the form of food uh, our food is also the source of uh, uh, carbon dioxide uh, uh, greenhouse gases okay so uh, what are the uh, facts that are related with uh, this are given uh, in the present slide uh, in the present slide uh, food Uh, accounts for 10 to 13 per 30% of household carbon footprint typically a higher portion in a lower income households particularly in lower income household next one in the next slide personal transportation uh, also contribute uh, this uh, uh, carbon footprint uh, as we discuss uh, in this slide that uh, passenger car uh, produces 41% commercial aircraft produces 7% rail produces 2% ships and boat produces 2% all these results are uh, uh, generally uh, shown how the carbon footprint or carbon dioxide emission uh, uh, is there due to various vehicles car and light trucks emitted near about 1.1 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide so after discussing these two case study we will discuss how one can reduce uh, carbon footprint okay so how can i reduce my carbon footprint 
there are various methods for reducing your carbon footprint first one driving more efficient vehicle more efficient vehicle should be drive second taking public transportation third one using energy efficient appliances fourth one insulating your home uh, to reduce uh, heating and air cost uh, fifth one consuming food that doesn't require much transportation sixth one eating less meat seventh one individual companies can also offset uh, this uh, uh, carbon dioxide emission now we will discuss about green chemistry as a sustainable chemistry green chemistry is uh, generally the utilization of set of 12 principles to reduce or eliminate the use of use or generation of hazardous substances in the design manufacture and applications of chemical products generally green chemistry is a multidisciplinary field it covers uh, certain areas such as synthesis, solvents, catalysis, raw materials, uh, products and efficient processes etc. In the previous two videos I have discussed about catalysis. Now in that video we will discuss about what are the principles of green chemistry. Generally there are few principles that are given here. Uh, first one use of renewable energy sources, use of alternative hazardous chemicals alternatives to the hazardous chemicals uh, use of uh, reactions with high atom economies use of catalyst for reactions when possible use energy efficiently reduce and recycle waste reduce waste use reduce pollution from waste products etc etc so if we follow these principles we can make the uh, environment and its a sustainability so promoting sustainability through green chemistry generally green chemistry is an important in achieving sustainability the implementation of green chemistry is nothing but the design of a chemical product process that reduce or eliminate the uh, eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substances which is it is essential if the expanding global population is to enjoy and increase the standard of living without living a uh, uh, without having a negative impact on the health of the planet uh, cleaner technologies will allow the chemical enterprise to produce uh, produce or to provide certain sustainability now in the last slide uh, we will discuss about the sustainability computation and standards generally green chemistry is considered as a tool for the sustainable development uh, particularly in case of chemical industry generally in case of chemical industry catalysis uh, also plays an important role uh, because most of the chemical processes need a catalyst to accelerate the uh, reaction to enhance its selectivity and to lower the energy requirement for this purpose catalyst is an important or catalysis is an important process so uh, current catalyst are generally uh, much much more expensive toxic so in order to reduce this uh, expensive nature of this catalysis green chemistry is the best way uh, thank you for hearing this video uh, uh, thank you uh, very much uh, subscribe uh, this video and uh, like this video uh, for thank you again uh, for this uh, thank you again for watching this video thanks a lot